There is a wide variety of plants you can offer your rabbit, whether from the supermarket or in the wild. You can even grow them in your own garden to save money. This is why Animal Wise brings you our guide to the different plants rabbits can eat. Root vegetables. It's no secret that rabbits love carrots, something we often see in popular culture. However, it's essential to know that root vegetables such as carrots, parsnips, turnips and beets are foods with a high sugar content. In addition to providing them with a lot of energy, they increase the risk of suffering from obesity problems, diseases associated with being overweight, colic and stomach bloat. For this reason, it's best to offer them a very small portion from time to time, not on a daily basis. They often work best as a rare reward. We share a more general guide to feeding rabbits in this video we share here. Shoots and Leaves It's highly recommended we add green leaves and shoots to our rabbit's diet on a more daily basis. Unlike fruit or root vegetables which store sugar, shoots and leaves have a very low caloric intake and are also high in fiber. This will benefit your bunny's digestive health, also providing their body with the nutrients their bodies need. Many of the vegetables you give your rabbit have parts which we often throw away since humans don't consume them, usually as they are too fibrous or resistant. For a rabbit, which eats hay all day, they can be both beneficial and very tasty. Among the plants that you can offer daily, we find root leaves such as carrot or radish, endive, arugula, lamb's lettuce, watercress and romaine. We should point out rabbits should avoid eating iceberg lettuce. The plants that you can offer occasionally, meaning one or two times a week, are celery, broccoli, chard, spinach, cauliflower, artichoke, red cabbage, asparagus and celery. There is also the possibility of offering your rabbit dehydrated food, but these should be given in small proportions mixed with fresh food. This is because dehydrated food reduces its amount of water and has a higher concentration of nutrients, among which we can highlight sugars. Therefore, dried fruits and vegetables contain more calories and are not recommended in excess. In this video, we provide more general information on how to care for a rabbit. Wild herbs. The diet of a wild rabbit is essentially made up of grasses and weeds from fields, forests and mountains. This explains why your rabbit should eat unlimited hay. A good initiative to enrich your rabbit's diet is to offer them other variants of herbs, which you can buy in stores, collect in the wild, or grow yourself if you have the means. If you collect them from the wild, be respectful of the environment. Cut the plant without uprooting it so it can grow back. Also, you should take into account that the plants you collect need to be from areas free of contamination. Finally, always wash them before giving them to your rabbit, otherwise they could become intoxicated. In the same way, do not collect grass from parks and areas where other animals tend to urinate and defecate. The herbs that you can offer your rabbit include mint, peppermint, rosemary, sage, thyme, fennel, dill, coriander, parsley, basil and clover, among others. If you want to learn more about caring for rabbits, we share this helpful playlist. Do you have a rabbit and have trouble feeding them? Tell us about it in the comments and we'll see you next time.